in the Ambetter Health 400. To all the race fans who have ever listened to NASCAR on the radio, thank you. Thank you very much. Drivers, start your engines! So Larry's estimating Joey Logano, when he does his pass through, will go one and a half to one and three quarter lap down. The good thing for Logano is he'll be the only car laps down should there be an early caution, but he's not eligible for that free pass because of it. Green flag in Atlanta. Michael McDowell leads them to turn one. It's the Kyle and Kyle show on the inside. Big run coming on the outside. Todd Gill and push McDowell already. Bush up for a block. Michael McDowell swings to the bottom, but Kyle Busch moved up because he knows that that middle lane is going to be the preferred lane. As these things get strung out, you're going to want to be in the middle lane, so you better get off the bottom as quick as you can. Well, why is that? A little bit more banking. You get trapped on the bottom like you Trouble! Said. One car slides to the infield. Austin Dillon, and they pile up behind him. That's two weeks in a row early out for Austin Dillon. I don't know how much damage he has, but there's a bunch of them, folks. You got Gregson in this, Bell, there's a right rear. I think Austin may get away with just that tire damage. If you watch here, these cars riding through here all start stacking up as they catch them. Accordion effect. We saw it at Daytona time and time again. Look at the accordion wow. back here. What happened was Todd Gilliland trying to make a hole for Michael McDowell to get up in that preferred lane in the middle, stacked that whole lineup really hard. Those guys had nowhere to go, didn't see it, landed right in their lap. What a mess. Watch Todd Gillen, the 38 car right here. He's going to check up to try to make a hole for Michael McDowell, and it checks up this whole line. And all of a sudden, that accordion just gets deep. Denny Hamlin just missed the three. Oh, it was awesome. 467 races. Finally got his first career pole. And he's got the nose of that car in the wind. Any Hamlin around. around goes Hamlin. Sliding down toward the apron in turn number one. And caution is out. Hamlin was in sixth place. Well, you can see him and Kyle Busch on the bottom. Kyle comes up, gets Ooh. into his left rear corner, and turns him around. Yeah, and that would look like the classic case of two got one going up, one coming down. These cars are just I mean that was pretty heavy contact, but they're 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 light going through the front straightaway like that through the through the quad oval. From the eight. You, it pulled him in. You can hear him lift too. You uh, Laney outside of McDowell. Hold your breath. Big gap on that outside. See him locked together on the bottom. Three wide. Is that Reddick moving up? And Gilliman and Logano on the bottom. Trying to steal some points here. Michael McDowell started from pole. Here he comes to the end of stage one. He gets the green and white checkered flag. Blaney, Chastain, Larson, and Bush, the top five. Wow. If I lift and, make, and go to the next corner, or can I clear it? Pit road is closed. The points paying window opens in two laps. And look at it really ratchet up. And then you see Austin Sinder change lanes. There he goes from the bottom to the top as Joey Legato. Oh, big block. Run. Now he got pushed below the yellow line. Briscoe did. Yeah. Double line. Yep. I'm still on Daytona time, boys. <laughs> yeah, Briscoe and Truex got together there. If you get pushed below the yellow line, the driver that does that may incur a penalty. It's optional. NASCAR can review it. If you drive below the, the double line to improve your position, you will get a penalty. He oh. certainly got rammed. Oh! Reckon. No, Logano. Logano. Busher, Hamlin, pile up on the last lap of stage two. Yeah, and that was just a late block uh, from, from what I saw right there. 
Austin Sendrick will win the stage. In review, Sendrick has won the stage from Kyle Larson. There you see them out in front as Busher got into the wall and then Logano swept up and boom. He's not come off that double line on the bottom, I don't think, for two laps the whole day. But he's been making it work. Well, he's made a lot of hay down there. Yep. To your point, yes. All the passes he's made, he's been back to the front, back to the front. Oh, wow. Oh, trouble. There it was, too. It was on the outside of Kyle Busch. You saw him fly down in there to the inside. Casgrala. Yellow's out. Yellow's out. Caution is out. First caution of stage three. Comes in lap 174. So you're saying he needed a caution and well, he I, don't, I don't think he was trying to cause no. the caution. I think he was just trying to stay, stay in around. front of the guys behind him. So um, just got tight there. I mean, yeah. with in space wise, he, he didn't got get in a pipe. bad spot. Yeah, it just put Kaz in a bad spot. And Kyle was trying to do everything he can do to keep going forward. And I honestly think I, I, Kaz gave him room. There he goes. One lift is all it took. Starting to see Gillen falling off a little bit, maybe some handling woes. Oh, oh big spinner down to the apron, up toward traffic. It is Chase Elliott. Did a good job keeping that car down. Caution. Steven, the throttle caution is out. They're rolling if you can. Didn't overcorrect that car. That could have been bad for a lot of lot of race teams. He, he was in eighth place. Right there of Brad Keselowski, he's going to go in the corner here and he's going to get loose and the five and seven just had nowhere to go and couldn't check up fast enough to, and, and wound up just uh, getting involved as well. See him go in right there, go up the racetrack, get a little bit loose, the car gets away, seven and five pile in. Five, six and seven. And that's how close these cars to being on the edge are. You see Brad just wiggle a little bit, but every single corner is just like that for these drivers. You are. We were 100% focused on this race car. We weren't giving up anything. That hurt us in qualifying, but here we are at the end of our cars together, Mike. The four into the fence. And the nine of Chase Elliott. Goes for a double spin there. Whoa, close call. Oh, it wasn't the last car. Well, they all they all got checked up. You see the toe link on the left rear is bro broke on the four car here, and he gets stuck in the middle. And you see the 23 car get a little bit loose, and then Josh Berry check up just a little bit and got loose behind him and spun out. I'm glad we saw that angle right there. Yeah. That movement of air is what made Barry loose. As soon as he got loose in front of him, it took the air off of his car. That wake in front of him dumped all the air off of his, and boy around it went yeah and a lot of times in that situation clint if you when you've got the wheel in it like that and you just check up there to not get tight getting in a corner to try to put himself in position but those guys don't have anybody behind them in that second row there one lap to go sponsored by credit one bank it's all going to come down to getting into three i think here comes the energy here comes the support from the back that third row How does he block? Does he block high? Does he block yep. low? Here it comes. Kyle Bush to the middle. Shooting a gap. No help with Kyle Bush. Oh, Suarez right alongside him. Three wide. Off Look turn at this. four. Here they come to the flag. Three abreast. Photo finish. How about, I think it's Blaney. Unbelievable. Three wide finish. Have you ever seen anything like that? Scoring. Finish is under review. Scoring has the margin between the first three cars at 0. 0.00 seconds. <laughs> How awesome was that? How about that? Freeze frame, stop motion to the line. That's too close to call. <laughs> Unbelievable. I think they all win. Unbelievable. That was awesome. NASCAR was yeah, reviewing. Right. 99 to 1288. Race clear is the 99. How the about 99. that? <laughs> Daniel Suarez, the 32 year old from Monterey, Mexico, gets his second Cup career win. His first one came last June at Sonoma.
This is a very popular win, Daniel Suarez. I said it last week in Daytona, he was in that picture at the end of that thing. Boy, was he here again at Atlanta. Yeah, and this last half a lap was just absolutely unbelievable. As hey, race fans, thanks for watching our video. For all NASCAR on Fox News content and the best clips from Fox Sports, be sure to follow and subscribe to our channel.